Hey guys, I'm here to show you how to do a quick start for your cereal box package design using Pixlr. You're going to start at pixlr.com slash editor. You're going to go open image from computer and you want to go and find the template that I've provided to you. Pixlr has something called layers. If you double click, you can rename something. I like to name my layers because eventually you'll have a bunch of them. So there's my layer. Now I'm ready to start putting images here. All right. So if you should already have your images saved, but if you don't, here's how you would go about doing that. You can go one of two places. The first is kittle.co, and this is a safe visual search engine for kids, right? So let's say that I was searching for information about the Pythagorean theorem because I was going to do a cereal box, um, maybe called Pythagoras, let's say. So let's say Pythagoras. Let's do that. And it's going to provide me with kids safe information. So here are different articles so I could learn more about Pythagoras. I also could do images too. And I could find something I like. So Let's say I like this picture. I can click there. It takes me to the website, and I can right-click, save image as, and save it somewhere I know it's going to be. I'm just going to save to my desktop for this example, but you would save it wherever you would like. That's the first option. That's Kittle. So just to go back and show you, Kittle, there it is. The other option is openclipart.org, and this provides you with access to royalty-free images. So I've already put in Pythagorean, so let's search and see what happens. And now I have all of these kind of options here. Um, some of them are kind of cool. So I would find one I like. Let's say that I, you know what, this um, is kind of fun here. And then I can choose. I don't like to use download. I would use big, medium, or small. Big is always nice because you can always make it smaller. So click. And this will automatically save, it just popped down here out of your range where you can't see, but it will automatically save to your images. So once you've done that, go back to your serial box. We want to add something. It's really tempting for people to go file open, um, but we're not opening up a new file. We want it to insert into this one we already have open. So the way you do that is you go to layer, open images layer. So layer, open images layer. And let's go to downloads. There is our image, all right? And look at that, it drops all the cool shadows. Now let's say I want everything except for, um, I don't know that I want Euclid's proof of the Pythagorean theorem down here. I would just get my highlighter tool, see this? Draw some marching ants around it, and I can go edit, cut, and now it's gone. I don't have to deal with it anymore. The other thing I like to do is I like to rename it so I might rename it P box it's for Pythagorean box or square because we're mathematicians we're going to be accurate. Okay, so there it is. I can turn the layer off or on so I can see it or not see it. I can shuffle it so one is behind the other. Right now I want P square on top. Now it's kind of too big. So if you go to your Pixlr tips and tricks handout, here it is. Oops, it's going to take it a second to think. It gives you some frequently asked questions. Um, one of them is, how do I resize something? And it tells you, go to edit and choose free transform. So here I am. I'm going to go to edit, free transform, and then a little square. So I can move this wherever I want it to go. Maybe I want it right here. Click off to the side. It's going to say, do you want to apply the changes? And you could say yes or no. The other thing about our handout that I really, really like is that it gives you a copy of the toolbox. This is the toolbox in Pixlr. Here's the toolbox on our tips and tricks. Here it is. And it tells you what each of these tools do. Now, I could give you a tutorial on every single one of those tools, but you'd get awfully bored. A lot of it is just playing and experiencing it. You have your navigator. You have your layers, which we just talked about. You also have your history, which is kind of cool. If you go back here, Mine isn't here, so all I do is view, find the history window, there it is. This is edit undo, but I can go all the way back to the beginning, so if I wanted to, okay? So watch this, I can just keep going back all the way through here, 
Remember we got rid of that? Yeah. So I can keep going back if I want to. It's up to different people, different strokes, how they like to go edit undo. Whoops. Do you see that I grabbed the wrong thing? That's, I'm glad that happened. And then the wrong layer. Do you see that? Which layer I have highlighted? I've highlighted the wrong layer. So I'm going to say, sure, let's apply the changes. And then I'm going to go back, back. And now this is where I want it, but I was on the wrong layer. So I actually deleted the wrong thing. So I have to click on the correct layer. I'm going to delete off here. Edit, cut, edit, free transform to resize. And now I can drag it to wherever I want it to be and say, yes, please keep those changes. Okay? It's a pretty cool tool, isn't it? All right. The other thing you need to know is there's two ways to save. There's lots of ways to save in Pixlr, but there's two that are really important for this project. The first is for when your work isn't finished. So I'm not finished here. I have a lot more work to do, correct? I want to keep my layers. I don't want everything to be smushed together because I might want to still be able to move things around. So what I would do is I go to File, Save, and instead of PNG, I would choose PXD, which is the layered Pixlr. It means it can only be open in Pixlr. Always change the name to something for you. So why don't we call this P Serial or Thagoros Serial <laughs> and click OK. Choose where you want to save it. I'm going to choose to the desktop for these purposes. OK, so let's pretend I'm totally finished with my project. OK, I'm ready to turn it in. All right, then you would go File, Save, and in this drop down, you're going to keep it as a PNG. That's a transparent, full quality. Transparent just means wherever you see checkerboard, it's clear. Click OK. I would probably keep the same name. Click Save. Now you've saved it that way. Another cool thing is as students get ready to finish, they might not want to do a whole lot of details on these tabs, right? You might just want pure color. An easy way to do that is make sure you're on your template. Get your magic wand tool. Click to highlight. This number right here impacts how much you pick up. So if I change it to 10, it will pick up less. I'll show you a good example. So, oops, we're on the right layer. Let's say I'm on this layer. It's only highlighting half of my square. Do you see that? Because it's interpreting these as different shades of green. But if I turn this number up to maybe 50, it highlights more. Do you see that? Okay. So it just depends. Let's keep it at 50. We'll go back to our template. All right, and then I can pick a color, maybe red, okay, and you can try the paint bucket tool, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, it can be a little tricky with the paint bucket tool, click, oops, and click, now that could get to be a little annoying to have to click back and forth to different um, tools every time, so there's a really cool trick, you click on your magic wand tool, click, and then, oops, maybe if I hold down the shift button, see the plus sign that appears? As long as the shift button is pushed, I can highlight a bunch of things at one time, and it saves me a lot of time. Okay? So these are the basics of the serial box design. There's going to be a lot of things that you have to kind of figure out on your own. That's good. That means you're learning, you're driving your own learning, and that's how we learn how to do a lot of things in life. If you go back here to Pixlr Tips and Tricks, there's a few frequently asked questions that might be helpful to you. It reminds you how to save, and it reminds you how to use all of your tools. I hope you have an awesome time designing your cereal box cover.